Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be covering March favorites. I know I'm a little bit behind with this one. I just had other content that I wanted to get up for you guys that became a priority. So I know I'm about two weeks late with posting this, but I thought better late than never. If you like this video while you're watching it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from me in future, then please don't forget to also subscribe down below. I would love to have you back and have you join this community. My first favorite for this month is this beautiful little plant. I believe it's a cacti of some kind. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I love um, like the vase or plant or whatever that it's in. And I'm so excited about this, not only because it's super cute, I really like it. Um, you guys probably would have seen this back in my Vlogmas video back in December when I had first gotten this, but I'm so excited about it because I haven't killed it. <laughs> All my friends that know me know that I do not take care of live plants well. I 100% can take care of my animals and whatever else in my life, but for whatever reason, plants typically come to my home to die. <laughs> and at any rate, this one is a little bit more manageable. I only have to water it with the smallest amount for every two weeks, which honestly sounds like no big deal, but Sean and I did have a cactus years ago and we did kill that. I'm so embarrassed to even say that. But this one has stayed alive so far. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. And I have it uh, on one of our mantles in our home and I really just enjoy it. I think it's really cute. And I hoping that if I can keep it up that maybe we'll add some more greenery to our home in future. The next one my favorite is actually something that's an empty. It is the By Terry Donselis um, wrinkle control serum foundation. I again had talked about this briefly back in December in some of my vlogs when I first picked this up and completely finished the bottle. It is a more expensive luxury foundation, but I honestly think it was worth every penny. It's about a medium coverage foundation and it was definitely something that you could build if you wanted it to be a little bit more full coverage. But as it said, it is wrinkle control and I am starting to get creasing in my face during the day with my foundations. And I found that this one did not do that to me during the day, which I mean, hello, obviously a bonus. So I was really taken with this foundation and I'm kind of crushed that I'm out of it for now. And because I will get a tan or my version of a tan anyway, come the summertime, I am going to pick this up again in the summer, but I'm gonna wait till I get my little bit of color um, for that season and then repurchase then. But this was really a wonderful buy. It is $140 Canadian, so I know it is a little, well, it is pricey for a foundation, but honestly, I really do truly think that it was absolutely worth it. And you guys that watch my channel will probably know I haven't reviewed a lot of luxury foundations because I haven't found them to be worth it in past, but this one was definitely a winner. Now, another favorite of mine is uh, the Shiseido Future Solutions LX Universal Defense SPF. This is an SPF 50 plus. And um, I kept the box because the packaging itself is really cute, but there's no flat surface on it to stand it upright. I really don't like products that you have to lay down on the counter. I just think it ends up looking sloppy. So I consistently keep it in the box and just keep it on um, my vanity area so that I don't miss applying it every morning. As we get into the summertime, I religiously apply SPF every day. I know, I know, I need to get into doing that during the winter time as well, but during the spring and summer, it goes on religiously, and I have been absolutely loving this. This is a newer product that I just tried recently, and I really like it. It does have a very thin consistency, it smells beautiful, it feels very hydrating on the face. You don't get that whitewash that you can get with some SPF, and this one does last a really long time, and I believe is somewhat, I can't, water, yeah, it's water resistant for up to 40 minutes, so in the summer and spring, I do get into running, obviously sweat during something like that. So I wanna have something to protect my face, obviously while I'm out and make sure it doesn't drip into my eyes. So I have not tried this one for that purpose just yet, but I have re read really wonderful reviews about it. And as I said, it just feels very luxurious on the skin. It is pricey again. I think that this SPF retails for around $115. I will give you more feedback on this as I use it, but for the few weeks that I have been using it so far, I have loved it. 
and can do nothing but rave about this product. It's amazing. Now the next line of products I've been loving are the Lee's Watchier Rouge Intense Supreme Lipsticks. You had seen me apply one of these in my Get Ready With Me videos recently. If you haven't seen that, I will link that down below. But these are absolutely sensational. They are very pigmented. You need one swipe to get it across your mouth and get that full like beautiful pigment with everything. And they're so incredibly creamy. I've just found that for most part, I'm over matte lipsticks. I do like them in liquid formats, but for your traditional lipstick sticks, I really don't like matte formulas anymore, or for the time being, I'm at least just over it. And I love these ones because they're incredibly hydrating. They have a beautiful range of colors. And I love that this is not an overly expensive product that you can find them in some drugstores, which I love. And I like the color range that they offer with this line. I have three in particular that I was sent um, by Liz Watier. And the colors are Maya, Ariel, and Zoe. And I honestly, I've been wearing these all the time. Even if I just want a quick face in the morning with just a touch of mascara, some foundation, and a lipstick, these have been my go-to. And I cannot speak highly of them enough. I really honestly think they're a fantastic buy. Another product that you saw me using all the time recently in my get ready video with me videos are these NYX precision blending sponges. They come in a two pack. I've just got one left because I've been using um, the other one that you've been seeing in my videos. And these are beauty sponges that have a really fine tip applicator at the top and they're just a really small tube sort of body to them. And what I love is that they fit perfectly under the eye or around the nose. So they really are truly a precision blending brush. I know I've talked to you guys numerous times about how I often find it difficult to get right in the inner corner of the eye or around my nose. Um, just because foundation doesn't seem to sit in there quite nicely or it's hard to get foundation in that area properly. And these sponges are such a dream. They really um, press the product into your face gently and give this absolutely flawless flawless, sorry, application. And this precision tip is just magic when you're trying to get it in areas that are a little bit harder to grab with your traditional beauty blender. And I actually really like how these feel when they have been dampened. So it is my first time trying a NYX beauty sponge. However, based on this, I will definitely be picking more up just because these are such a dream, like I said, and I'm really anxious to see what their other beauty sponges are like because if they're as good as this, they will be replacing my others. Another product on my list that I have really been enjoying is this Body Shop Pink Grapefruit Body Mist. I've found myself recently wanting to wear lighter fragrances. I typically go through this phase in the spring summertime. I just want everything to be light and easy breezy. And although I have a ton of beautiful fragrances to pick from, my favorite has always been beautiful citrus fragrances and grapefruit in particular has always been my favorite. And this just has the most beautiful lightweight mist. It smells like an absolute dream to wear and I just feel so shower fresh. Now the last on my list that I've talked about before is my Hobonichi and I told you before that I was using it for a lot of journaling um, and things like that before and you can see that in here like I do put a lot of doodling and things like that which is wonderful um, however because my schedule has been so hectic over the past little while I have not had the chance to journal as much as I would like but I didn't want to forget what was happening during my days because it is something that I do find relaxing and I'm hoping that when things calm down a little bit I will get the opportunity to journal a little bit more so what I have been doing at the front of my Hobonichis is Every day I've been doing like gratitude sections. So at their week at a glance, I've been using it to write down like what I'm grateful for, what stood out to me that day. And I've been recording my day that way. So at least I don't forget and can go back and journal after the fact. And I've just found it really refreshing to take a, like five minutes at the end of my day, sit calmly, sit quietly, and really reflect on what I'm grateful for. Even if it's a fabulous cup of coffee, if it's a laugh that I had with a girlfriend, if it's a wonderful client that I had the pleasure of meeting that day, whatever the case may be, I love to record it. And I love making sure that I'm grateful for my life and for my day, because I think a lot of the times, so many people get caught up in those really big moments and that if we don't have those massive milestones, people think that 
there's nothing to celebrate in life. And I'm a huge believer of thinking that even the smallest of things are worth celebrating, um, even if it's just a beautiful sunshine out during the day. So I love that this has made me do more of that. And I love like flipping back and seeing over the past few months things that have happened in my life and things that I'm grateful for and reflecting on that time. Now the very last item is a pair of shoes from Forever 21. I just featured these in my spring clothing haul for this for this year. So if you guys have not seen that already, I will link it down below, but I'm not gonna talk about these in depth because I already did that in the video. Long story short, $29, walking on a cloud, love the metallic, couldn't love them more. Anyway guys, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this favorites video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would love if you hit the little red subscribe button down below because I would love to have you join this community and have you back again to chat once more. And other than that, I hope all of you have the most amazing, amazing week. I love you so much and I will see you very soon. Mwah. See ya.